My name is uh, Peter Craig. I work for BA Systems as part of the Mission Systems team working on Queen Elizabeth class carriers. I've been working with uh, the Queen Elizabeth project since uh, early 2006. It was my second job out of the Royal Navy. Um, I was brought on board as a specialist with my background in carrier navigation and warfare. Well, this carrier is um, a fairly unique design. Uh, it, it breaks away from a number of traditions within the service uh, and it is the first carrier that has been designed specifically to work with a particular class of aeroplane and I've seen the F-35B fly and it is an awesome aircraft. It is going to be a huge departure in capability for both the RN and the RAF when it comes into service. The aircraft has uh, the capability of greater range and a greater payload than Harrier, particularly in the sort of climates that we find the, uh, the services fighting in these days where warm temperatures and high humidity make it difficult for the older generation aircraft to operate effectively. The size of this platform will make it much more versatile. You will be able to mix the load of aircraft on board much more effectively. You'll be able to carry things that you might not otherwise have been able to carry in the huge hangar on deck. Uh, you'll be able to take uh, troops or you'll be able to evacuate refugees in a way that we've not been able to do before because of uh, the constraints of size of platforms that have been deployed by the UK on these sort of tasks. But this ship feels big. Uh, when you stand on that flight deck and you look from one end to another, over a thousand foot, that ramp looks very small. Uh, and I know the pilots are going to find it uh, quite challenging to start with until they're used to that environment. It's going to be a challenging environment for all the mariners on board. Uh, it's going to have the same number of people that a ship a third its size had. Uh, just finding their way around is going to be challenging and, and with a carrier, with a, a ship of this size, people change all the time and it's going to be a continual job to make sure everyone on board that ship knows where their job is, where their bed is, where they eat, where they go to uh, have rest and recreation and how to function this ship as a warship. For me, um, producing a, a ship that'll last uh, 30 years plus is, is quite something. I joined the Navy 30, 31 years ago and I've seen cycles of ships go from being brand new 30 years ago to being scrapped as I come out of the service. So I'm starting the cycle again with this ship. I see this ship lasting a whole lifetime for some people in the service. So we've done a huge amount of work to try and make sure that the environment is appropriate for the job they've got to do, that it'll satisfy the needs, it'll be uh, efficient in delivering uh, the operational work from those spaces. That said and done, there's still a, lot, a long way to go. The, the Navy haven't operated an aircraft carrier of this size before. They certainly won't have operated fixed wing from aircraft carriers for probably up to 10 years by the time they get an opportunity to do this again. So it's going to be a huge learning curve for them. Uh, what I hope we've managed to achieve is a a platform from which they can launch their, uh, their new fixed wing capability into the future.